Wow. So we thought instead of going home and having to cook dinner, we would just make a nice fire roasted vegetables, pack it up and bring it home for dinner tonight. Well, the boys from Valley Sawmill just left. They dropped me off a new sawmill. Same model as the one I had before, the big red, but this one has a few upgrades to it that they've uh, they fine-tuned over the year. And also it has a hydraulic lift, which will allow me to lift up big heavy logs onto the mill for, for milling, which is great because I've got a walnut tree. I'm gonna be milling up here uh, in a town close by. And uh, that's probably what I'm doing here is building uh, a rack to store all the lumber on that I cut stuff that I've cut here and previously and as well as the walnut so this will be uh, all lumber storage and then I'm gonna also enclose the rest of it to store tools and, and just things that we don't want in the cabin.
Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. You're so brave. One, two, three. Do you like the view of the windows? Look, it's all clear here now. So you can play. We can put a little play for it for you. And mommy and daddy can watch you out the window while you play over here. Daddy's going to build you something to play on. So much brighter, I feel like. Yeah, yeah, it looks lovely. Mama, mama, mama. She's like, I just want to play right here. <laughs> all right. Okay, I've just finished my new lumber storage slash storage shed. And uh, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So much like the other one, I just used uh, living trees as my posts ran a ridge pole and then braced off of that. The only difference was this time I made a higher wall, which allowed me to have this lumber storage area, running some braces along it to store this lumber on. So I've collected a, a variety of different pieces of lumber from stuff I've milled and a few bought boards. Uh, this is something we're gonna use all the time. It's a bin that has our kitchen stuff. So cutting boards and just olive oil, salt, some knives, things that we're gonna use when we're cooking. And I always like to have an empty place to put stuff when I come in. So at home, I have an empty workbench, and, and here it's, it's that space. If I need to come come in and put down a chainsaw and sharpen it or it starts to rain, I need to throw a bunch of stuff inside. Just an empty place to put stuff. Um, and then in the back is all the storage. It's uh, The idea here is to never block the tape that labels what's inside. So if I'm looking for something, I could just stand here and look at the tape and read all of the items within those bins. We had all these white tarps left over from our wedding. We bought them because we were doing an outdoor wedding. We had to have something in case it started to pour, which the forecast was calling for. And fortunately we didn't need to use them, but uh, I already had them. So I've been making use of them ever since. So five years now, I've been kind of recycling these tarps in various ways and, and uh, they've been pretty helpful. There we go. That's the, uh, the new storage shelter. Okay. 